Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to deal with the problem of sleep. Yes, that's right. I've never really told you this before, but I was very, very, very sleep challenged. In my first half from about my mid-30s on, I would wake up at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning and not be able to get back to sleep. But you know, I wouldn't toss and turn like some of you out there. I would just get up and go to the family room and read and it became a normal habit of mine to kind of look forward to getting up in the middle of the night and having some time available where the kids were asleep and it was all my time. But I realized that losing all that sleep all those years was very bad on my health and also not good for my looks either. So this video is showing you the sleep solution that I found and it has been phenomenal. I am sleeping like a normal person now, which is truly amazing. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. I have another video coming up that is about instantly becoming a back sleeper. I have found a wonderful solution that allows us to become a back sleeper from night one and that does reduce wrinkles. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and you'll get a notification of that on my future videos. The secret that I found has helped me totally sleep normally. Now I wake up usually about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, which is when I want to wake up. And in those rare times where I do wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning as I used to, I'm able to just shut my eyes and go back to sleep again. It has been truly amazing. And the solution is something that you all know about, which is melatonin, but I was using it in the wrong way all those years. Sometimes I would see articles over the years about melatonin and how it helps us sleep, and I would use it for two or three or four nights, and it wouldn't work, and so I'd give it up and then toss it out, and then the next article would come a few years later, and I'd try it again. It never worked for me. But I realized through seeing a video done by Barbara Hoffman that I was doing it wrong all those years. And I want to share the secret of what has worked for me in terms of using melatonin. But if you haven't seen Barbara Hoffman's channel, I'll put a link below the video and I hope you'll go take a look at her video on melatonin. She also has great information about hormone replacement therapy for those of us over 50. Before I get into telling you my melatonin sleep cure, I'll tell you a little bit about how sleep benefits our faces. And I'll put a link below to a WebMD article that talks about the benefits of our beauty sleep. The first is that when we sleep, it increases collagen and collagen plumps up fine lines and wrinkles and makes us look younger. So that's the first benefit of beauty sleep. The second thing sleep does is it gives us a more glowing complexion and that's because at night the blood flow increases to the skin not just in our faces but all over our bodies and that increased blood flow cleans away toxins and brings nutrients to our skin which gives us that healthy glow. And the third thing sleep does is it gives us brighter, less puffy eyes because as we all know when we've been sleepless for a few nights the dark circles come, the puffy eyes come and getting that beauty sleep helps our eyes look better too. And melatonin was my cure for getting a regular night's sleep and learning to sleep normally like normal people. And what melatonin is, it's a natural hormone that's prevalent in your body when you're very young. And as you get older, the amount of melatonin your body produces decreases. And when you become my age, which is over 50, the amount of melatonin in your system is often not enough to keep you asleep. Melatonin regulates the sleep-wake cycles and about 9 p.m. at night the amount of melatonin in your body is supposed to increase and it stays increased for about 12 hours and decreases again after about 9 a.m. in the morning. But as we get older when 9 p.m. comes there's often not enough melatonin and we're still awake at 10, 11, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, no telling. So taking melatonin is just a way to increase that natural hormone and it comes in strengths of one milligram, three milligrams, and five milligrams and they always say that you should start with one milligram and see if that works for you and kind of add maybe a second milligram. Well, I had used one milligram all those years and it didn't work, so I started about two months ago using the three milligrams, but what Barbara's channel told me is that it is not like a sleeping pill. This is not like Ambien in a bottle. You can't just take it for a night or two and expect that it will work that you need to take it over the long haul because melatonin gradually increases in your system and before you know it, you're sleeping like a baby. And that's exactly what happened for me. For the first five nights I took this, I thought, you know, this is really not working. But maybe about a week and a half into it, I realized that I was starting to wake up later and later in the evening. Instead of 1.30 in the morning, it might be 3 o'clock, then 4 o'clock. And then all of a sudden, I woke up and realized that it was 5.30 in the morning and time to get up, and I had slept all night long. And that's what's been happening on melatonin. In fact, now, after taking it for the last couple of months, I really sleep like a normal person, and 
I've lost that morning time, which sometimes I kind of miss that morning time. But even on those occasions where I wake up at three o'clock in the morning again, it used to be that I'd have to get out of bed because I couldn't sleep, but now I just shut my eyes again and I'm able to go back to sleep. This has absolutely been a sleep cure for me, but remember, you have to take it over time. It's not like a sleeping pill. You have to be patient for it to work. So if you have sleep problems, I hope you'll give this a try. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just give you email notifications of my future videos. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I'm going to be using a new card deck today. We'll try it out. This is the Power Thought Cards from Louise Hay. Love Louise Hay. Okay, let's go ahead and give them a good shuffle. See what God wants us to think about for the day. Okay. I deserve the best and I accept the best now. I am mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. It is my birthright to deserve all good. I claim my good. Friends, this is so important and I truly believe this is the way we need to live life. We always have to think and believe and pray for the absolute best for ourselves and for those around us. So ladies, for a change, let's put ourselves at the top of the list and realize that we deserve the best and let's start believing for the best because when we believe for the best and believe that's going to happen for ourselves, when we set goals and see ourselves achieving them, I truly believe that that creates an energy in our lives that makes the good things come to pass. Take care. See you next time.